when are you smoking? But it's 5 p.m. here. <laughs> right. Twenty more hours in the workday. That's right. And, uh, you know, I'm, I realize that that's pretty early for some of you West Coasters, but is this what time you normally had your, your call or no? Um, we used to, like months and months and months ago, we actually had it on Mondays at six, but when all the 1K calls started and they were all at five, we all got used to calls being at five, so. Okay, well, that's fine then, because we were doing them at eight, but that was nine o'clock for some folks. And some folks were like, oh my gosh, it's so late. There she is, she's almost asleep already. Kim barely yep. staying awake and it's, you know, she just got through with the, the, the dinner at Luby's with the four o'clock price. You know, y'all didn't have that up there? What's a Luby's? You don't know what Luby's is? Like oh, a Luby's? cafeteria? And, and it's like, it, it, you got like lunch for like $4 if you ate from three to four, because that's, that was when the older like people the senior ate. discount or something you're talking yeah, about yeah, <laughs> so you're called it the older people's place to go eat at yeah well i mean i used to eat there but there's none of them around anymore i don't think all right so let's get rolling though um or did we oh we recorded all of that nonsense all right well anyway hey so welcome to the call we're uh we're going to be um partnering up um you know now that we uh the 1k club call is going to be like monthly um, and everybody diamond or higher who's got an interest in really pushing your business, I really strongly encourage that you get in there. We're kind of still trying to figure everything out, but um, here we are now. We're 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 rocking this this thing back in our in our own team pages and and all of that greatness. But I wanted to first, you know, just congratulate Kelly again on on what she's been able to do and her team. All of you, Rebecca, I see you, and Lori, I see you there too, and I can't see everybody else, so I'll scroll through, but there's, uh, like, Michelle Dorado was kicking tail over there, um, Lori was doing great, or Laura, sorry, so anyway, it was, that was really, a really cool experience, and we're gonna, we're gonna bring that back, it's yeah. just, I think that some people needed, needed a little bit of break. And, and so that's fine too, because we don't want people to burn out because it's only February. Look at my crazy hair. So what's going on right there? Like, can anybody identify what? what it's actually what March. So. Oh, did it, what did I say? February. February. I mean, uh, we've only been in March for a couple of days, but still. Yeah. Well, y'all know what I meant. Um, so anyway, let's, I'm going to do, uh, do a little bit of recognition to start off with. Um, we had Crystal Fuller, uh, Crystal Hill. I can't remember which her Facebook name is. It's different than my, my team beach buddy name uh, or her team beach buddy name. But she's a success starter, made success club every month. She's a coach. Um, she's not on social media very much, but she crushes the uh, bod group steel. And, you know, that's fine. I, I message her and, and, and tell her what to do. And sometimes she doesn't, sometimes she doesn't, but it's working for her. She gets, she gets the re, uh, gets the results. I'm really excited. They live right around the corner from us. Our daughters play volleyball together, um, so that's pretty cool. Um, also, Kristen Carnwright is in Success Starters, and that's pretty awesome too. She made uh, she was uh, made Success Club ten the last three months as as of her first six months, and uh, that's really when she started making the business. And she also um, made diamond in, in that time so that's pretty awesome too i want to remind everybody like i did in the post that you need to have um you need to be part of a bod group too in addition to making success club three months out of your first six you need to be co-adminning a bod group and i'll be honest with you right now i don't mess with bod groups i'm an admin of a bod group but i'm really bad with tech um and the it's not really that great right now, in my opinion. So I just don't tackle it. A little sidebar story. I sent my mom. She's been living with us. I sent her home with a with an Amazon Fire Stick, and she called me. Even though I just showed her how to plug this thing in, she called me because she was literally trying to plug the Fire Stick into the wall, like the electrical outlet of the wall. And she's like, "It doesn't fit." And I'm like, "Oh my gosh!" And so then I got her to plug it in the right spot, and she's like, "Well, the TV won't turn on." And I'm like, "Well, why is that?" And she's like, I don't know. Does it need to be plugged in? Does the TV need to be plugged in? Is that what you just asked me, mom? 
Does the TV need to be plugged in? Okay, anyway. Um, so success starters. What success starters gets you is it gets you in a test group with the trainer who's doing the test or doing the group, right? So everybody who makes success club um, or makes success starters gets that and they get a ticket to summit whenever that may be. Um, you know, we haven't gotten official word on the uh, on, on summit yet. I would be surprised, honestly. I mean, I would be surprised if we have it, um, unless they want to move it to Texas, because we're going to be open in like three days, uh, four days, five days, whatever. But um, I just don't, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. But you know, we were asking them. There's a five star wall. Once you get five star, you um, you get on this wall with Carl and all these other people, and and everybody was asking and they weren't answering, and we got a little annoying because I think that on another group we were like, hey, let's just ask them until they answer, and and so like twenty of us, not me, because I'm not rude like that, but twenty people were like, hey, what about Summit? And so finally they were like, hey, we don't know yet, we see it, but we'll get back to you on that. Um, let's see, recognition. Do you have anything, Kelly? I don't want to just put you on the spot there, but. Well, I we actually I actually did all my recognition on Monday. Um, on, we had a little uh, team happy hour on Mondays after. Well, shine that light again. Shine well, it again. I was going to. I was just going to say. Um, sorry, I was. I'm, I'm selling a challenge pack, signing a coach right now. So, um, that's why I was. I thought you were talking to me on the phone, or I mean, on the phone. Um, so, um, well, Lori, Lori went diamond for the first time last month. Um, which is super amazing. And she's not paying attention because she was totally hear her name being called. So I don't know, I think she's frozen. Um, and then um, um, Kisa, Kisa Andrews, who is gonna jump on the call. Oh, yep, she, um, at some point she got her business to one star diamond in February. And um, because of Kisa and Lori and my husband's account, I went two star diamond and started qualification for three star diamond in, um, in February. So it was a really big month. For our team and and overall we had um so much incredible growth so even though people you know some of the people on our team didn't rank um rank up they are getting so much closer to being able to rank up they are building their business they are building their teams um we have coaches that hit their first or second month in success starter you know of the success starter route um it it was it was a really a short but amazing month and so i and we're already starting off on a on a really strong foot and i'm just so proud to see the majority of our team you know the our team the ones that are working are on this call again tonight and so um anyway i just i continue to be proud of them every day that's awesome yeah, yeah. i mean and, and i've i i see all that stuff too you know i can't see your your volume i have to get that from you or dave but i definitely see the people's lives that y'all are changing by adding them to it to the team um look at this this little well oh, here, i'm not going to show you all that yet that's secret um okay so then we'll talk about some of the march promotions um so you've got the success club or the team cup challenge two right i think is what they call it team cup second chance so if you didn't earn a prize last month or your team didn't, basically you're doing it again. You just don't know, um, you know, the, the rankings for the regional stuff is, is already done. That's over. And they're going to announce that in the 10th. And, and I'm really excited because uh, like I see Juliet on the call and Juliet and Kim Ron and, and some others were on a, on a team cup team called the Wonder Women. Right, and the second place in the central region. That's pretty awesome. I wonder how they determine central, maybe because of the team cup captain. But anyway, yeah, that makes yeah, sense. It was based on the team captain as what region you got. Right, okay, fantastic. So the other cool promotion, which this is really pretty awesome. And I know that Kelly gets to take advantage of this too, because you know what, I signed my mom and my boy up in February. So, they announced the My Best Fitness Friend, which is funny because that's what we call, uh, I have a group called My Fitness Friends, that's my challenge group, and we give away a monthly prize to the people who kick the most ass, and, and that's what I call them as my, I think it's my favorite fitness friend. This is my best friend, but anyway, whatever. Um, so a $40 promo code. That's insane, guys. So, so we've got two $40 promo codes. And so if you're a new coach signed up in February in particular, you know, then you've got three $10 promo codes, uh, your new coach promo codes. 
and then you get the $40 promo code. Um, you know, just saying if, if you're starting a business and, and putting family members at the top, I might be in, you know, uh, might be leaning towards using that $40 promo code on my family member. But anyway, so that's pretty amazing. That's fantastic. Uh, the other thing is the uh, success club retention point deal. So I want to clear this up a little bit. So what that means is anybody, if you sold a, a challenge pack or somebody bought something on Home Direct in February, then, and they order again, coach or customer, and they order again in March, for every 180 points of that, you get a point. So basically though, to simplify that, if you earn 180 points of, you know, orders again, you get a point because at the bottom of it, it's like for a maximum of one point. So I don't know why they don't just say, you know, you get 180 points, you get a success club point because you can only earn one. But basically, if you were in Success Club last month, or if two people who signed up with you with challenge packs last month continue their order for this month, then you get a Success Club point. So you're already 20% of the way in Success Club. And this will also apply for April as well for the people that signed up in, in March or February. Let me see. What's the other thing? Um, I, for some reason, I thought you could earn two points total. That was the highest you get. Is it two point, one point? Let me just double check because I got it pulled up right here. I read it earlier and I was like, I was like, man, you know, I don't, so. Is that just customers only? No, it's customers and coaches. It says Mar okay. in March, all the volume generated from personal purchases in, made in March by everyone in this retention point pool will be added together. If you accrue 180 points of volume, one success club point will be awarded. And then at the bottom, it says up to one success club retention point from your pool can contribute to your monthly success club points, meaning okay. at least four of your five need to come from new orders. Okay. So, and if anybody wants to write it down, it's FAQ 7376, and it's also um, in your breaking news. Um, so the other thing that, um, the other thing that's pretty awesome uh, that we, uh, that we have new in in a, in Team Pan page at least I know it's not new to to uh, Kelly's crew which there's a ton of you on here by the way I'm gonna have to kick some ass in Team Pan and say hey you gotta represent but um so Kelly's sharing that uh, that her t her new coach training with us and I'm just gonna kind of toss it over to her and you know we're recording this so other people who can't watch it right now will be able to hear it. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about about your training yeah let's just go with that so, um so la this last summer laura and i who's on who is on the um call tonight we were like we really wanted to put together a new training like if everybody should be a part of fit club network as well um i don't know what what a uh, new coach training or if, if you guys if you guide people to the fit club network training um, as well. And um, Dave put it together several years ago and it was amazing. And, but it was 30 days and 30 lessons. And it just seemed a lot of people get really scared and they go, I need to learn all the things before I can actually start doing. And so 30 lessons or 30 days just seemed like a lot. And so we wanted to condense it down and see what we could. Um, and, and things have changed drastically with social media and how we, we show up on, on social media and how we share. And so Laura and I tried to, we're both, we both talk a lot and have a lot to say. So we really tried to make it concise, but more concise. And um, so we dialed it down to about 11 lessons what, where we felt were some of the really vital points of um, getting started and having success early on. Because we know that when we, when we have success or we get other people's success quickly, um, the likelihood of them staying on grows exponentially. And that is with you know, a health and fitness journey or the business. And so um, we wanted people to be able to move through these things and feel like they could take action right away without waiting. And so a lot of it, like, you know, our welcome video and such is, you know, specific to team fit to love because we were making it just for our team, but just know that everything that we say is for team panacea as well. Um, and everything, you know, each lesson comes with a homework assignment because the biggest thing that we, we feel as coaches is we need to know what our coaches need from us. A lot of times, um, 
um, you know, what your goals are, where you're coming from. And so by having that homework at, at, with every single lesson, not only does it show us that you're moving through the training, your upline, that you're moving through the training, but it gives us information that we need on how to steer you towards your goals or help you be successful with the things that you want to do. Um, and it also like um, one of the, the, in the first lesson, we kind of welcome you to the team and you know that we're excited and then we share the different types of coaches and then we ask the homework is to text your upline with what type of coach you want to be preferred member you know discount coach hobby coach you know whatever it is and so then if i when i get that text message and somebody says they want to be a hobby coach and then i know the things that you need to be doing to be a hobby coach and if i don't see those things happening and they're like well i'm not having success i'm not you know it's like well then you can go back and say, well, you told me you wanted to be this, and this is what's going to take to do that. If you don't, if you're not ready to do that, that's fine. Or it could be the vice versa. Somebody says they want to be a discount coach, and then they're sharing all over social media, and they're like, crap, this person wants to sign up with me. How do I sign them up? I'm like, okay, we need to reevaluate what you're, what you want to be and what your goal is, because it's, you're killing it. You know, it just gives us information and um and then we know how to best support you or you you know how to best support your um your personally sponsored coach and then um i'm trying to think and laura you can jump in here too if you um we really just go through you know how to how to um that you know committing to a program inviting people i mean all the the vital behaviors of being a coach and then we expand a little bit um just you know what makes us coaches unique and what what helps us be successful and how we get to be authentically ourselves um i don't know laura can you think of anything else uh no the only thing i can say is that you guys know this business like things things stay the same and things change right <laughs> like and so there are parts of the training that maybe we do things like slight slight slightly different now but not huge differences one of the biggest ones i can tell you though is the one that we i think i did it on inviting We've really, as a team, tightened up our inviting process, I think, and gotten a lot of clarity around the system that we use. And so in that part of the training, it actually links to our team script that we use of how we take someone through a process. And I, I feel like as a new coach, that that was somewhere I tripped on for a long time. And the script that we have right now is, I consider it very solid. Like it's taking parts that we learned from 1K, it's taking parts that have worked for us, it's taking graphics that we know like help communicate things easily. And so I just can't tell you enough, like the, the thoughtfulness that Kelly and I tried to put into this when we made it was a lot. And um, Kelly, what you, you have someone who coached before. Mm -hmm. and, and can you tell what she said? Because I think that's helpful too. Do you remember she was like, well, I've had, I've had a couple of, um, um, I, I have had a couple coaches tell me how the training is like, they were on a team before a long time ago and they had a, they had a training or something. And that this one was just so much more concise and like, and, and I don't want to say spoke to them, but it was just like what they needed to hear and felt like it was much more valuable and they could get started more quickly. Um, and 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 so that that was really great feedback and i will say that that laura and, or um after we launched this in the summer and then a couple months later when we started bringing on some new coaches that the coaches that went through this program did every single lesson did the homework literally were hitting emerald um within the first month of their business they were hitting success club or at least signing new customers i mean they were seeing success and we were just like i think it's working like i think it's working and so um, I really, and, and so if you, if you sign up a new customer and they tell you they wanna be a hobby coach or above and they're not going through a training, I will say this training, but a training, then they're really not saying, they're not really not gonna be a hobby coach if they're really not going through any training. And I, I just, I would highly encourage you to encourage your teammates to do this training. And if they start asking you questions and they're coming back and how do I do this? And like, have you done the training? Have you done the training? Because again, we want to be able as a new coach or a coach that's bringing on other coaches, you want to be able to, you don't want to answer every single question that they have when we have it built somewhere, either in the back office or in an FAQ or in a training. And so you don't want to be that person that has to be there all the time. So you can say, hey, have you done the training? When I did this training, a lot of these questions were answered for me, you know? 
And then it puts it back on them. Because again, if you want to be a successful coach and earn any money in this business, you have to do the work. So if you're relying on everybody else to get you the answers, it's going to be really hard to bring people on that want to do the work too. Okay. Um, the, only, the only other thing I'd add on is that I do suggest to people like try to get through it in a week or two. Like I give them a, a suggested timeline, like there, that doesn't exist. Um, and the other thing is I personally am like trying to have follow-up calls weekly for the first month. Um, yeah. And after that, it really just depends on where that person's at. But, but if you just send them to the training, like I, I don't think that's going to be enough. You need the personal touch with the training where they can learn independent. So that, so that is, that, that's kind of the, how I do it too. Um, so new coach signs up. I send them a welcome email, get them in my bod group. If they were, you know, brand new customer and coach. Um, and then I tag them and add them to the team page, tag them in the very first lesson and say, start here. And then once they finish that first lesson and text me with what kind of coach they want to be. And even if they say that they want to be a discount coach or a preferred member, I'm going to set up a first call. I'm going to set up a call, a one-on-one -on -one zoom call, and then we can talk about their goals. They could be business related. They could be physical or, Hey, I just want to get the discount, maybe get my products paid for, figure that out. And then depending on that individual person, I initiate another three calls, but four total weekly for the first month to check in, make sure they're moving through the training, make sure they're, they're feeling supported. And then I always tell my coaches after that four weeks, I'm available to them if they're working, if they're posting their tracker, if they're doing the things that they say they want to do, I'm available for one-on-one -on -one calls, but they're going to be the one initiating it. So, and my, co my team knows, like they know that they, they text me, they have me, they can request a call. I work full time. So we have to, you know, maneuver when I can do that. But as long as they're doing the things, as long as they're showing up for themselves, they're doing their program, they're sharing on social media, they're inviting people to join them. I will take my time to meet with them one-on-one. -on -one, okay. Um, after that initial four weeks. So, um, that's kind of my, my process with with coaches. Oh, sorry. I don't know who that is. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else with that training. The training is pretty self-explanatory. Um, I've had coaches do it in two days. I've had coaches do it in a week or two weeks. And then I've had coaches that start and never finish. It really is. I mean, when I, when I started seven years ago, the fit club network had a seven day training. Um, and I think I finished it in two days because I just, it was like, it was, you know, supposed to do one day one date. And I was like, well, I have all this time. I'm sitting here when my daughter was two and she was sleeping and I was doing nothing. Why would I not just do the training? And I got to work. So again, it's all about the effort that you're willing to put in and what you want to get out of it. Um, Laura, I never did that training. I did. I totally did. Cause I started this business to earn an income. Like that was the reason I signed up was to earn an income as a single mom. Um, but the first thing that I did I had to be doing a program. I had to be working out every, well, not every day, depending on the program, um, but I had to show up. If I am not showing up for myself and I invite you to join me to show up for you and I'm not doing it for myself, why is anybody gonna trust and believe that I can help them if I can't even help myself? And that doesn't mean you're not real. I still haven't even done my workout today and I have to finish the program tomorrow because I'm leaving out of town and I don't wanna have to take all my shit to the beach. I'm still going to go do my workout right after this call. And then I'm going on date night, but I'm going to do it. I'll shower. Don't worry. Um, and I share the struggle. It's been a real struggle. I get up at four 30 in the morning to five o'clock in the morning. It has been a huge struggle lately for me to get up early and get my workout in. I'm getting up. And then I sit on my couch. I do my personal development. I start working. And I'm like, I don't want to go to the garage. It's freezing. These workouts are hard. I know she's going to make me do stupid Tabatas. Like having a really hard time. And I'm sharing that on my social media. I shared that today. I'm struggling, but I also share that it's going to happen because I'm committed to myself and I'm committed to taking care of me. So even though we struggle, it's not about being perfect because if people see you say, Oh, it's so easy. I wake up at five o'clock every morning and I run out to the gym and I'm so happy about it. And I, you know, then they go, well, shit, she's not relatable. Like that's, that's hard. Like, how is she so, you know, and, and so I'm going to be honest. And then some days I get up and I go right into it, but it's not easy. If we, if we just like this business, it's simple, but it's not easy. It, 
working out and eating well is simple. Like that's literally what it takes to live a healthy lifestyle, paying attention to what we feed our face and moving our body. That's not rocket science, but it's also not easy. So if we try to portray this easy, oh, it's so easy to do all these things and work this business, people aren't going to be ready. And that's what I did at the beginning. I wanted, oh, I'll do all the work for them and I'll make it sound so amazing and easy. And then I was so shocked when I couldn't get anybody that wanted to put in any work because I had made it look all pretty that it didn't take work. And that's what a lot of people are looking for in the fitness world. I want a pill. I want a waist trainer. I'm sorry. I don't even understand that. Um, like to, to take away all the things so I don't have to do the work. So we have to show that it's work. We have to show that it's a struggle sometimes, but we overcome that struggle to find our success. I just kind of went on a rant, but, um, but I, I was actually thinking that today because I, I have been struggling so badly to get out to the gym. I'm still getting up, but I just don't want to go out there, whatever, whatever it is right now. Um, but I'm sharing that I'm sharing that. And I'm still showing up to show people that you can struggle and still succeed. So. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's dead on the money, you know, and it's one of those things too, where, where, you know, we have these conversations with our, with our coaches all, all the time where, you know, that's literally why they signed up with you is for you to help them stay accountable. And like, if you're one of those coaches um, and you know what, I, 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 I've been one of those coaches before, but you know, the thing that I have that makes it less terrible is I have several before and afters, right? I mean, I've done the program. I've done the program to the T several times. So I have shown that it's been, can be done, right? And, 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 but if you show up and you just show up for like three days and then you disappear for six, you know, and then you show up again, you're like, okay, guys, sorry, I disappeared there for a while, but I'm back. You know, the, if I'm that person watching you, I'm like, okay, well, let's see if you're back in four days, you know, cause I'm not going to join you on day one, two or three. Cause you know, you disappeared. And, you know, and if you've got a history, every time you do that, you just, you're, you're, you're damaging your credibility and you're making it harder and harder and harder to get started. Be proof. The products work is one of the, it's, it's a, the most important vital behavior. Um, but I don't want to beat that horse into the ground there was something else that i wanted to say when when you were talking and i can't remember what it is now i'll probably remember it right when we right when we finish um chris can i just say one last thing please do, um, please do. just obviously the tr the idea behind the training and i think a lot of people understand this but it's the business's duplication and it's the the fastest way to duplication right so you don't want to be the, you don't want to be the point person who has to give all the knowledge. Like you want to have that system that you can plug, that any coach under you can plug someone into it and their whole team's getting the same information, the same messaging, the same start, because that's how you rise together. When you've got all these coaches doing their own different sort of way of onboarding, the, the messaging gets mixed up and it's hard to do the pushes as a team that you're really trying to do. And everyone on the team is working harder on that when really the magic is building your team, you know, and, and like it, it really affords you the ability to do things duplicatable. For instance, Kelly is now, she does graphics like on her team, um, but like she just tonight made a folder, like an album in our team page now. So people can like make their own graphics more easy. Like she continually is thinking of ways to, to shift that responsibility over to onto other people. So she's not the one person who knows how to do it, but right. the team can do it. And I think that's just so huge because for a long time, for me at least, I, I didn't have those systems down well. Even right. if they were there, I didn't have them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. No, that's good, solid stuff. I remembered what I was going to say too. Um, so when you're scheduling calls with people, right? Like I used to, and I used to, spend like three to four hours or I would book like three to four hours of calls a day with, with my coaches. Um, and like, I would spend like 30 minutes on an actual call because they were all knuckleheads, you know, and I would call them and they'd be like, Oh, 
yeah, sorry, it's not a good time. You know, even though it was the time we scheduled. So what I did with my scheduled calls now is I'm like, you call me at this particular time, right? I don't call them, if, you know, because because I'm I don't even I don't even want to waste the the 30 seconds it takes for me for them to give me you know whatever lame excuse they have for why they're not ready or whatever you know so so set some standards for for some people you know too like like kelly talked about you know she's like look you know if you're doing the work then i'm here to work with you but you know if you're just doing you know if you're not doing the work and you're just you know messaging me to ask how much a bag of shakeology is or something like that you know, and then I might say, I don't know, let me Google that for you. And then not really Google it. You'll just have to take the hint that you got to figure that out yourself. Um, man, I'm not sure that I got anything else. Anybody else? I don't want to, it's 730. So, you know, I don't want to take oh, I did up. Want to share, just, I did want to plug the other calls this month. That was Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Because um, I remember I got to do my workout and shower before yeah, day Make oh. it happen. Um, so, um, I, and I don't think I've crewed. Did I create the event? No, I can't remember if I created the events in Team Pan. I think I did. Um, but um, so what I do, what, what I started doing with my team um, in January, I think we even started it last year, but then it was kind of hit and miss. Last year was a shit show. Um, but what we do monthly is we always host a new coach call. So we have calls every Monday. There's a different um, theme, if you will, for, for a call. So Monday, every the first Monday of every month at five is a new coach call. So any coaches that signed up normally the month prior. So like in April to be anybody that signed up in March or has decided they now want to work the business. We have a welcome call. Um, like I did this last Monday, the second Monday of every month on uh, Monday, 5 PM Pacific, this time stays the same. I do a push to Emerald. So that's for any coach that wants to learn about the benefits of being an Emerald, how you become Emerald, and then why you want to be Emerald, why that should be your first goal and then getting there as quickly as possible to maximize your earning effort uh, earning capabilities what did i just do um and um and then getting those leads and get, you know hitting success club and things like that so so that's the the second monday of every month and then the third monday of every month is our what we call cocktails and coaching um because we like to drink and we like coaching so we mix them together um and so it's basically where we we invite that's where we invite all of our prospects challengers whomever to come and listen to and we've done it multiple different ways of how we we give the information lately what we've been doing is um three people because we're trying to keep it about 30 minutes um or less um three people share their story in a very concise quick way of how Beachbody has changed their life um, you know, what they were doing before and how they used Beachbody and when, what's happening now, as well as um, hitting on a couple objections that are our most common objections that we hear from people that don't want to sign up to kind of answer their questions before their questions and then share how they can sign up with us. And then that's it. So we do that once a month, um, all those three things once a month. And um, like I said, I, it's open to all of Team Pan. It is open to anybody. One thing that I will probably ask as we move, move because I don't, I don't need to talk all the time. I am a control freak. I do like the, the light, the, the light. I do like the light. Yes, I do. The, anyway, spotlight. spotlight. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. But I don't need it all the time. And I talk a lot, clearly. Um, so I would love, and I remember as a newer coach, when I felt like, oh, I don't have these high ranks, so I'm not making all this money, so nobody cares what I have to say. They don't, you know, um, and then I got to the point where I was like, I may not have this high rank, but I have a lot of experience and I think I have good things to say. And this is how you learn how to become a leader by taking these leaps of faith and sharing and stepping outside of your comfort zone. And so I would love for other people to, come in and share if you feel comfortable even doing the push to emerald call i'm going to do it next week um you know and then laura and kisa and i are doing our cocktails and coaching this month so you guys can come and watch see how we do it so that maybe in a month or two you're like hey i want to take that on i want to do that you know um because one of the things that i think is huge and why i'm always wanting to be a part of these things is because when i'm inviting somebody to check out coaching or especially the cocktails and coaching i want them to hear from me you know, I want them to hear my story as well as other people's stories. But when I'm inviting to something, I'd rather have them hear from me. So if you're inviting a bunch of people, 
wouldn't you want to be talking to them? Don't you want to be able to share your journey in a different way to get them to join you? You know, and so we want to open this opportunity for you, not just to be a spectator, but to actually be involved. So that'll come in April and, you know, months after that, we'll be, we'll be looking to see if anybody wants to, um, to take that on. So, but if I haven't, I think I put those events in team pan, but I'll look, but I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> I, I didn't catch what you said the fourth Monday was. There isn't anything. Oh, so no call on the fourth Monday or no nope. topic. Nope, no top, no call, just the first three. Right, Laura, where'd you go? Um, I'm like, I don't think so. That's Thank awesome, because like if Laura was there and you like looked up, because on my screen, you know, there's the people are above you, you'd be like, Laura, and she's like, what? Well, what's sad is she's below me on the screen and I looked up, so that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> awesome. So I'm gonna post this recording and, um, and, you know, we, Kelly and I may be going to have to get together because I know that she posted that call on YouTube. And so maybe we're just going to be double posting them on two different YouTube channels. So we're just flooding the network. It's all going to be our little Beachbody family on, all over YouTube. But um, I think that's I think that's it for now. Um, I'm really excited about this year. Still super excited about this year. Remember, your business is exactly where you deserve for it to be. Your business is just like your fitness. You can't just bust your tail one day and then be like, why am I not in, you know, making a hundred dollars a day or a hundred dollars an hour? Or what, uh, what did he, Carl said? A thousand dollars a minute. That would be pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, but you know, time and consistency, the only difference between me or, uh, and you or Kelly and you or anybody on here is time and consistency. Right. And so it's really exciting for me to see Kelly and, and, and y'all's team blow up. Um, Cause like I said, man, I can see y'all's future, right? Cause we're all on the same highway. I'm just, you know, been on it longer and traveling a little faster, um, you know, but some of y'all are faster than me now. So you're going to catch up and that's cool. I dare you to. So, all right. Awesome guys. Thanks so much. Love you guys. Let's rock it. See you on the boards.